Hey, my babies, it's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. Give me some boop, 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 dap, because you're the dopest and we know this. Hey, my babies, my darlings. Much besos. Oh, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I'm sending you so much healing, so much positive energy, so much encouragement. You guys are amazing. I just want you to know that. And I want you to know that I am so proud of you. Thank you for all of the love, the comments, the likes, the shares, the donations. Mwah! I am just beyond appreciative of each and every one of y'all. And as we do this reading, we call upon Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael to protect us from anyone sending us evil eye or any evil intent or magic or any type of negativity of any sort. We send it back a thousandfold immediately as soon as they do it or as soon as it rolls off of their tongues. Amen. All right. So we are going to get on ahead and see what's going on, all right? Some general messages, babies, okay? Yes, somebody is hot for you, okay? They heavily desire you, okay? You and this person could have really good sexual chemistry. I'm hearing you could be with this person right now. <laughs> um, Y'all could be about to get it in, you know, rocking, knocking boots all night long. Yeah, yeah. Um, You could be pairing in this reading because they went and took a run, but they coming right back. They, I'm hearing they, they on their way back. They don't want to miss any time without you, okay? This person is ready. <laughs> if you know what I am saying. I feel like this person could have went and got some condoms and you are peering into this reading. <laughs> That's for who it's for, okay? Um, I also feel like a lot of people desire you, but it is specific people that have a stronger energy that is coming through. This could be people, you know, I'm hearing from afar, but this could be people that you work with is also what I'm hearing. Someone that you're already with, someone that you're dating. Um, you're a hot commodity, baby, period. <laughs> but it's someone that you are like, you know, having sexual relations with and baby, they can't get enough. <laughs> Y'all could have been like in the house all weekend. I know where I'm at, it was storming off and on. So if it was raining where y'all at, yeah, y'all was y'all was doing a nasty all weekend. And this person is hooked. Let me tell you, baby. <laughs> this person is hooked, okay? But in a general aspect, someone that is watching you or that you are with or that wants a chance with you. They are heavily sexually attracted to you, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. If you're with this person, they love kissing you. They kiss you, like, so much is what I'm hearing. So much, okay? They love your lips. You could have juicy lips. You could have a sweet taste in your mouth is also what I'm hearing. This person probably can't keep their hands off of you, like... <laughs> I'm hearing you do it for this person. If this person could, they would, I'm hearing, get it in with you every single day, but they don't want to be, you know, I'm hearing pushy or overwhelm you. But I'm trying to tell you, you're a hot commodity. Like, you got a lot of people wanting you. Men and women is what I'm hearing. But be careful because some of these people just want to have a love affair okay now side note okay if you're dealing with someone right and you broke up with this person you're not talking to this person or you just have a gut feeling like your person is you know being sneaky um either they were or they are all right and either they had a love affair with someone Okay, man or woman, or both. Or they're having a love affair with someone. Man or woman, or both. Okay? And 
this third party is obsessed with you. Not in a sexual way, but it's because they want your person. Oh my God, like... Must we, must we do these reads? <laughs> like, must we? And I feel like this third party, and I, okay. This third party is like crush, right? But I also feel like if your person, you know, chose this person over you, thought that this person was better than you, could have fell in love with this person, or the third party fell in love with your person, I feel like both of them are crushed. Okay, I feel like your person is crushed because they don't got you no more. You are not trying to deal with them anymore. You're over it. And then I feel like the third party is crushed because you have some form of power over your person. And the third party is like desperate and they really want your person back. They desire your person sexually and I feel like your person is not fucking with them. <laughs> But the crazy part is you're not fucking with this person either. So that's why your person, you know, is sad, broken, and feeling alone. Because you done kicked their ass to the curb. And you like, listen, that song on my community board. <laughs> Keep that nigga, okay? You over it. And then I feel like the third party is obsessed with you, stalking you, mad at you because... Your person don't want to deal with them. Damn, you lose them how you get them, boo. <laughs> like, your person hurt, but then it's other options that want you too, okay? So, you know, it's different messages, baby. You got other options that are heavily desiring you. I mean, drooling over you. You're a whole mill in these streets, baby, Okay? You are more than the full package. <laughs> and I feel like your person got, I'm hearing, in over their head, delusional, egotistical. <laughs> and they went ahead and dealt with a third party. And then they actually thought that the third party was better than you. <laughs> and now the third party is mad because your person ain't fucking with them because they all snakes is what i'm hearing so okay it could be more than one third party so third parties could be friends lovers family but i heard they all snakes but this third party still is desiring your person and the crazy part is you ain't even on that tight time you unbothered focused on something else <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's see what else. Yes. I'm hearing um, this third party is still in hot pursuit of your person. But I feel like your person is in hot pursuit of you amongst other options. So not only is your person in pursuit of you, other options are in pursuit of you, right? And then you got this third party that don't want to let your person go. I hope y'all following what I'm, you know, relaying here. So you're off, unbothered, focused on your money, you know, living a good life. Your blessings are about to rain in or they're raining in. You done moved. You on some new shit. And your person can't get over the fact of how fucked up they treated you, how they chose everybody and anybody over you, how they didn't want to commit to you, how they had you waiting and stringing you the fuck along. So they actually thought a third party was better than you. Went to the third party. Realized the third party is not even... I'm hearing a quarter. Not even a half, baby. A quarter of who you are. <laughs> and they said, hell no. They're not dealing with the third party. They realized the third party is a snake. Third parties is what I'm hearing. They leaving them out in the cold and now the third party butt hurt, mad at you and still pursuing your person. Lord have mercy. Whew, let's see what else. Let's see what else, darlings. <laughs> I mean, whoo, the rabbit hole we going down or we are about to go down, y'all. Okay, so listen, your person is in love with you. They adore you, you know, they're enchanted by you. And then you got a third party that's in love with your person. I 
feel like your person could have manipulated this third party, could have told them that, you know, they love them. They just loved what they were getting from them. Because you don't fuck around. You're a grown ass woman. You're a grown ass man. And you don't have time to play kitty little games because you, <laughs> the saying is you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And you don't have time to take any more losses, okay? And I feel like your person was about to make you lose, so you quickly detached, like, oh, no, <laughs> it's a fuck no. You can, you know, catch this L by yourself, along with the karma, right? You're intuitive, you're tapped in, you're one with the divine, you're one with your guide, your ancestors, God, your angels. They already gave you the scoop, boo. On both of these people. And you know what the crazy part is? You don't even know who the fuck this third party is. Or third parties. Now if they're friends. You may have a clue. Of who these friends are. But as far as a friends with benefits. A sneaky link. Someone that they had an affair with. Like you don't know who the fuck this is. And the truth is you don't give a fuck. <laughs> like. You are losing no sleep over this, right? So the third party is in love with your person, pursuing your person because they want to have sex. Okay, probably, you know, was the best sex I'm hearing this third party ever had. And now they're stuck. They didn't create a whole soul tie attachment to your person, you know. And your person running from them, like this is the third party right here. And your person running trying to give you this bone. I mean... I mean, this wine, you know what I'm saying? Look, I'm hearing a bone, a wine, whatever you want to call it, right? This is the third party right here. <laughs> and your person like, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to go back to the collective. And you over here like, I ain't worried about none of y'all motherfuckers. Period. Right? But your person feels like you're the best sex they've ever had. While this third party feels like your person was the best sex they ever had. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, I'm hearing some hoogly boogly spell work, sexual magic was done. And that's why your person, I guess, was hooked on this third party. But I feel like whatever sexual magic, love, spells, hoogly boogly that this third party is doing, it ain't working. That's why your person is running. <laughs> And they try to run back to you, but you like, excuse me, love don't live here anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know, like, it's just tickling me because you're like, stop. What love got to do with it? You feel me? Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. And then this third party is so obsessed with you. Now, he or she may know who you are, Okay. And your person is like going in and out of emotions when it comes to you. Your person is unstable, okay? And it's because they are still attached to this third party energetically through their sacral chakra, okay? Because they, you know, wanted to have a love affair, wanted to put you in a third party. And you was like, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> like, your ego that big? You stroking your own damn ego? Because last time I checked, yeah, hell no. It's not like that. You know what I'm saying? So you was like, okay, you go ahead and have that motherfucker. And you're off over here. I'm trying to tell you. The move the way. Blessings coming in. Abundance, you know, coming in. <laughs> and your person is going through it. I'm going to be honest. Your person going through it. And, uh... So is this third party, okay? So it's like your person got ways of emotion for you and this third party got ways of emotion for your person. I mean, woo, let's get one more. I cannot make this up, y'all. But your person ain't saying a motherfucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> to this third party and you're not saying shit to your person okay so uh yeah sounds like a a karma thing a karmic thing sounds like um what goes around comes around 
I feel like your person ignored you for this third party and it's like, you know, karma. What goes around comes around. And I also feel like your person is stalking the shit out of you, to be honest. And they see that someone else wants you badly. Okay? And they actually may get you. Okay? Shit. <laughs> you single out here. Um, but it's not just one person. It's multiple people. I mean, you look good. You smell good. You are the full package. What the fuck did they actually think? You were going to sit there and allow them to take advantage of you, manipulate you, embarrass the fuck out of you? No. <laughs> embarrass yourself, motherfucker. Not the collective, okay? And I feel like both of them are focused on you. I mean, Lord, have mercy. Eyes for you, focused, fixated, watching. Both of them are watching you. So I feel like your person could have let this... <sighs> I'm hearing friends with benefits. They could have even committed to this person. Lord have mercy. They um, showed this third party your pictures. So this third party knows what you look like. I mean, of course, you a bad mother. Shut your mouth, period. Like, <laughs> and the third party mad because your person don't want them. I mean, let's be real here. Like, come on, right? When someone gets out of a relationship, and someone rebounds, you actually think that they're going to stick with you? It's a rebound. They call it a rebound for a reason. I mean, the delusion is real, but you know what? This is your person's karma. Oh, I'm hearing for some of them, they could have had a pregnancy scare, could have had a miscarriage, or this toxic-ass karmic because she was pissed or he was pissed Really a she was pissed. Okay. Now, all right. If it's a woman, I'm hearing she was pissed. So she overdid it in regards to telling your person she was pregnant and your person backtrack and they just are kicking themselves for even believing this motherfucking third party. And if it's a man, you know, a distorted masculine, this distorted masculine tried their best to get your person pregnant. And it just didn't work, okay? It just didn't work. And your person is hella turned off by this third party, but the third party is just fucking obsessed. And you over here don't give a fuck about none of them, to be honest. <laughs> as far as you're concerned, they both can have each other. Like, damn, can you breathe? You don't even know who this motherfucker is. And then your person up here causing you more evil eye and more stress when you just try to live, you know, a peaceful, good life. You feel me? Damn. Mm. Now, some of you could be dating. Some of you are about to date. And you got a lot of people that you're going to have chemistry with. But just be careful because some people are lusting after you is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah, your person wanted to be in denial. They didn't want to face the truth. You know, your person was irrational as fuck. So they chose this third party. Now the third party is reluctant to let them go. I mean, this is pure karma. You have ethics, morals, respect for yourself. So you be damned if you're going to sit up here and take anyone's bullshit. The third party can be subservient. The third party can be a yes man, can eat their shit. But as far as you are concerned, it's a fuck no. It's a, a no for me, okay? <laughs> and because you didn't want to take this person's shit, they chose to be in denial and act irrational and go back to this third party. And I'm trying to tell you, they put some hoogly boogly. They even tried to get pregnant. <laughs> and your person stressed the fuck out. Because this person, this third party is reluctant on letting them go. Amongst other toxic energies that don't want to let your person go. And you know what the crazy part is? I feel like you told this person. You warned this person what would happen. But they didn't believe your ass. <laughs> and now they got to learn the hard way, boo. Damn, you got to knock your head against the motherfucking wall. Before you learn... Life gonna be hard for your person, okay? So yeah, 
Not only was your person in denial, are they in denial now? No, because they're not talking to this snake ass karmic third party. <laughs> um, but I feel like the third party is now in denial. They do not want to let your person go. And your person is like super aggy, aggravated, but it's their own doing. <laughs> it's their own doing, okay? Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Let's see. Yeah. This karmic want a contract, boo. Or your person is in a contract. <laughs> they done, you know, tied themselves down in a contract with a third party and now they want out. God was like, ah, access denied. <laughs> And now your person feels stuck. They feel trapped. Even if a child is not involved, some type of hoogly boogly, some type of magic, man. And your person feels trapped. Because your person has come to the conclusion that, you know, you are, will always be the best thing that ever happened to them. But I guess it's too late for that now, huh? Right? So this karmic is chasing after your person because they want a commitment. <laughs> If you got kids with this person, you so fed up with this motherfucker, you don't even want to talk to them, see them, breathe the air <laughs> that they're breathing. So you could be taking this person to court because this person is going through karma, right? So that means their finances is about to be fucked all the way up, right? And you don't got time to hear no excuses when it comes to helping take care of your child. So you had to go to some extreme to take this person to court. <laughs> now they're trying to scurry back to your ass because, you know, they don't want to pay the fine. They don't want to pay the debt. The debt for wasting your time, your energy, being a manipulator, unloyal, lying on you. Thinking that a karmic ass basic beach <laughs> was better than you. Stop playing. And the crazy part is your person wasn't going to never stop. So you was like, you know what? Let me do what I need to do. You're taking this person to court. This karmic is chasing your person for a commitment. And your person is, I'm trying to tell you, they stress the fuck out. They stress the fuck out because they know you're the divine feminine. Okay, this third party tried to be you. They will never be you. I'm trying to tell you, you don't even know who this fucking third party is. And you don't give a fuck to know. <laughs> you don't care. Shit. Listen, you're like, yeah, I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> I'm a hollering. Yes, look at the bottom of the deck. I ain't even seen the bottom of the deck. Closed in, trapped, frustrated. Yeah, it's the clank, clank for your person until they learn their karmic lesson. Or I'm hearing for some, oof, maybe for the rest of this lifetime is what I'm hearing. Sheesh, all because they wanted to be in denial, all because they wanted some wang or poom poom. <laughs> all because your person thought that they fell in love with a third party that they thought was better than you because this third party ain't got no motherfucking backbone, morals or ethics. They'll do any and everything that your person wants them to do. Your person will even treat them like shit, I'm hearing. And this third party will be like, whatever you want. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's get some more. I her unconditional love. She's. She's at the bottom of the deck, twin flame. So this third party is in love with your person and your person unconditionally is in love with you. How I know it's you, because Twin Flame is at the bottom of the deck. They feel like you're one of a kind, you're the one. And they're coming to this realization after they fucked you over time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. Like, at this point, you're like, I don't give a fuck about no Twin Flame journey. I will take a higher level soulmate that is going to love me, treat me right, someone I can talk to, someone I can depend on. Someone that is not in their ego when they actually should not fucking be. Please. Who does this motherfucker think they are is what I'm hearing. The fuck? Ah, stop. Stop. 
Just because you look good don't mean you are good. The fuck? So your person is in unconditional love with you. And this third party is in love with your person. Now, I'm hearing in the past, your person thought that they loved this third party. Why? Because they were subservient. Because they could get away with whatever. You don't allow that shit. You a motherfucking empress. You a queen. You an emperor. You are a king. The fuck? You either respect me or get the fuck lost. Period. You either appreciate me or go find the next motherfucker that you can run all over. The fuck they thought? When you found out this person, your person, was for the streets, you said, oh, hell no. And they could bring you something back, STD-wise, or a sexually transmitted demon? No. Nah. You got to fucking go. You got to fucking go. But... They can't forget about you. They constantly thinking about you. They are being magnetically pulled back to you because, you know, they feel like you're the one. Whether you are or not. Okay? This could be a karmic masculine. Shit. From what I'm picking up, this is some karmic ass behavior. Plot and scheming with this motherfucking third party. Third party lying on you so that this masculine, you know, can betray you. Shit crazy. Lord have mercy. Let's get one more. I cannot make it up. The third party is texting, harassing your person for a commitment. For a commitment. Trying to give them an offer. And your person like, I'm seeing somebody covering their ears. Like, la, 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 la. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not trying to fall into that trap no more. You already are there. <laughs> Spirit is saying like... Until this shit is up, until you are, you know, done with your karma, baby boy, baby girl, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. You thought that the third party was going to financially support you. You thought that the third party had more money than the person that was riding for you. <laughs> you thought you was going to live a better life when the collective, you, my babies, are the chosen ones, the lucky ones. You hold the fortune. As an empress? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, you're taking this person to court. You're not hearing shit they got to say. Because they're going through karma. And especially if they have a child with this person. Oh, fuck no. My, my baby, you know, uh-uh. My baby need to eat. My baby need to be supported. That's not my fault you making irrational, dumbass decisions. Because you want to listen to your, your, your wang. You want to listen to your pom pom. Okay. Yeah, baby. You about to, you know, win a case. I'm hearing in child support if you're taking this person to court, if you have children. Okay. But this person's finances is affected. I'm trying to tell you. All right, this is what I'm hearing. Your person went with the third party, not just for sex, but for money, right? But the kicker is the third party was going or dealing with your person for the same reason. For sex and money. They both broke, busted, and disgusted. <laughs> and now your person is realizing or have realized and accepted that, baby, you are the breadwinner. You are the lucky one. You're, I'm hearing the future multimillionaire. You're the future when it comes to fortune. I'm hearing you held the luck. You were their blessing, their miracle, and they just pissed on it, squandered it, and stepped on it and spit on it some more. And God was like, hold up, my man. That's what the fuck you not going to do, okay? And they pretty much ripped this person out of your life by you breaking up with this person or ghosting this person. And they said, sure, fine. You want the third party since you think the third party, you know, is every motherfucking thing? Go be with that person. I'm hearing your person hates it where they are. I'm hearing the trash ass friends they keep picking over you and this third party that they had an affair with. <laughs> I feel like God and you warned this person like you better not. You better love yourself. And this person was like, fuck that. I'm going to do whatever I want. Being spiteful and revengeful towards you for no reason. 
okay? But I'm also hearing the third party could have fed them some bullshit about you cheating and messing around. Lies. Fucking lies. And now they look stupid. Yeah? <laughs> I'm hearing trigger when I hear your name, trigger when I see your car, trigger when I pass your place. Yeah, they're triggered every time they hear your name. They see a car. Okay, you can have a BMW. They see your car. They ride past your place. Triggered every time they got to pick their kids up. If you have kids. Because <laughs> they want you back. I'm hearing that Michael Jackson song. I want you back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Baby, give me one more chance. Won't you be my girlfriend? Period. Point blank. You not y'all hear that shit? <laughs> you not y'all hear that shit? You like say that shit for the next bitch? <laughs> you like say that for this bitch over here that you thought you fell in love with? Say that for the bitch. And the motherfucking friends you chose over me, y'all. Uh, I'm off to my bliss. You done held me back long enough. Shit. Yes, having love affairs, y'all. Now the motherfucking third party threatened. Because, you know what I'm saying? They embarrassed because the person, you know, your person then left them out in the cold. I feel like your person was boasting. No shame, about, you know, having you in this third party or being with this third party over you. Oh, <laughs> the humiliation that your person is feeling and going through right now is sad. I'm going to be real. It's sad. And they embarrassed you, but they truly embarrassed themselves because you're fucking amazing. Period. Period. Okay. And now this third party, which is trash and a clown, just like your motherfucking person. <laughs> You know, they feel like you a threat. I mean, listen. Go click on that song on my community board. Shit, keep that nigga. Damn. Why people gotta mess up your peace, right? You over here trying to live your best life. And they mad because your person is stuck on you because you a thorough ass woman or man. I mean, damn, it's in your DNA. You a chosen one. You were born with this, okay? You don't have to fake it. You are it. The hell? <laughs> and now this third party want to retaliate on both of y'all, okay? Let me tell you something, you hoogly boogly wicked witch of the West. <laughs> Anything that you send towards the collective beach, it will hit you as soon as you send it and as soon as you speak it off your tongue. And whoever is in collaboration with this will also go down and it will hit them as well. Amen. Send that shit back, okay? Damn, bitch. Go get a life. Go do something with yourself. I'm hearing this person could have multiple kids. Oop. <laughs> I'm hearing for some, they could be a dancer, a pole dancer. Whatever they are, they don't measure up to you is what I'm hearing. Damn, your person feel trapped. An obsession over you. <laughs> your person now obsessed with you. Yeah, when they were obsessing over this third party because they did some hoogly boogly, some Harry Potter shit, okay? Yeah, just to get a commitment from your person. Damn. People be worthless out this. <laughs> People be worthless on some real shit. Like, they don't love themselves at all. And your person is so fucking triggered that this person keep hitting them up. Like, they so annoyed. They ducking and dodging this person. And you got people over here that want you, boo. You got people that want you. Yeah, I don't know, man. For some of y'all, you know, they could have got this person pregnant. And they about to pay both of y'all. And they about to be one broke motherfucker. <laughs> Because they refuse to throw out the trash. They refuse to throw out this trash box third party. So now they got to pay both of y'all. Damn. If that's the case, right? Don't make it fit if it don't fit. If your person don't have a baby by this third party, 
this third party just, you know, had to do the most. I'm pregnant. Don't leave me like this. Like, and your person was like, okay, duh. <laughs> and they got themselves caught the fuck up. Like, y'all, I can, people are gossiping. Like, your person is two-faced, a liar, they're a fraud. They had the best thing they ever had. And they put you in competition with the basic beach. Mm. Your person feels truly humiliated. I'm going to be honest. Right? Mm. <laughs> Your person fell in love with the enemy. It's their karma. They plotted, planned, schemed with the enemy. It's their karma. If this is a divine masculine, <laughs> I'm here. I do not want to do this shit another lifetime. <laughs> God save me. Archangel Michael save me. I do not want to do this shit another lifetime. This cannot be a divine masculine. Y'all got to save me from this shit. Because if this is, whoo, your person fails every lifetime. Every time they're tested, they fail. And then you scurry off <laughs> and have the best love of your life because the, the protection and the abundance goes with you. And this person right now is not protected, period. Period. Yeah, this person about to, oh, I'm hearing they may lose their job. Jeez. It's like God is stripping them of everything because they didn't appreciate their blessing. Unconditional love. They done fell in love with a trash box and thought that they were better than you. Now this person is haunting them down, mad as shit at you and them. Like, well, bitch, go on with your life. Shit. Dang. Can you read? <laughs> You're not a person. <laughs> Now your person like, fuck! This bitch is a trash box. They triggered. <laughs> what did I do? Your person losing everything. And I feel like you are everything to this person, right? But they were so egotistical, so spiteful, so low vibrational, so childish. Jesus. God had to teach them the hard way. Since you want to learn the hard way, my man, here you go. Yeah, they chose trash over their family. <laughs> ah, and the crazy part is, the crazy part is the friends and the family egged your person on to choose this trash box. All the while smiling in your face like they liked you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now your person like, I, I, I want to do better. God, please, please, <laughs> they praying, they, you know, finna beg, okay, they like, oh my God, what the fuck did I do, my divine feminine, you know, she was the shit, and I actually thought that this trash box was my divine feminine, my high level soulmate, damn, Spirit said they trashed not only their family, but their spiritual path. Damn. This was your divine masculine. Or this was a karmic masculine. It differentiates. I, this got to be a karmic masculine. If this is your divine masculine, let me tell you something. You have a high level soulmate coming in. I'm going to be honest. If you don't want to deal with this person, you have a high level soulmate. Somebody fed your person, poisoned them. I'm trying to tell you the hoogany boogany, the black magic, the... Sexual magic, man, it's just constantly repeats itself in these readings. It's because this trash box third party just won't give it up. <laughs> they won't give up the magic. They won't give up pursuing your person. They won't give up obsessing about you either. Damn. And you don't even know who this person is. Even if you have a clue, you don't give a fuck. Like, damn. Shit. I'm hearing both of them feel trapped. I cannot make it up. Look at 
the card that fell, y'all. Wait. Look at the card that fell. I was just about to say they both feel trapped with each other. <laughs> Woo! Won't God do it? You ain't got to do nothing. Karma will come. You feel me? You will get your justice. You got to just be patient, baby. Stay prayed up. Protect yourself. You know, continue to do the right thing. Continue to be righteous. You know, and people cannot shut up about this. They, they cannot shut up about this. It's just, yeah, they're, they're being petty about it. But you do have envious, petty, jealous people that are stalking you, watching you, obsessed about you. I mean, rebuke them in the name of God. You know what I'm saying? Rebuke them. Because whatever evil eye being sent, it's, you know, it just rolls right off your back, okay? Because you winning, baby. You winning. Yeah, your person is back on that hamster wheel. All for what? The money. The cash. The dollar dollar bill, y'all. Damn. I'm hearing this person could have been struggling with you. Like, y'all was just working it out. Y'all was a team, right? And you had to go through the struggle. Because the reward would have been that much more sweeter. But your person ain't want to go through the struggle. They blamed everything on you. Oh, my God. I feel trapped in my family. I feel like I'm the only one that's doing everything. Your person was a fucking boy, not a man. Because they weren't doing everything. You were damn sure pulling your part. Every step of the fucking way. But they're a fucking child. A man child. A woman child. Okay? And they'd rather be with the karmic. But see, baby, you play chess. You don't play checkers. <laughs> so you was keeping note the whole time. The whole time. Like, it's no need to keep pulling on this situation. Your person is in heavy regret. Your person is stuck with a trash box. Your person, you know, can't stop obsessing about you. Now they're, you know, unconditionally in love with you. Your person was in denial about a third party. So now your person is trying to chase you. And the third party is chasing them. The third party is upset with you. Like, get a fucking life. Who cares? Damn. They're jealous of you, your spiritual ascension, your position. When it comes to, you know, in life. And when it comes to your spiritual ranking. Because they can't touch you. This third party that fell in love with your person and they are like in hot pursuit to either try to get pregnant or to have some type of commitment and your person ain't trying to hear that shit. <laughs> and you over here like sipping on your coffee, sipping on your tea. You could be peering into some of these readings and just getting the whole 411, like period. And you're like, oh well. Or you could just be off, like I said, doing your thing, right? But if you're listening to my reading, that means you'd have peered into some other readings. <laughs> and you're divine masculine, man. They like, I, I, I don't fuck with the third party no more. Single divine feminine. <laughs> you like, fuck all that. Shit. I don't trust you. This person could have really, really shattered your trust, like. And they're like, I want to talk. Just listen to me. You're like, for what? So you can try to gaslight me again? The fuck? <laughs> I don't even know, y'all. Your person want to work it out. They chasing you. The third, party, the third party chasing them. The third party obsessed with you. Even if you don't want this person, they still obsessed. They're trying to study you, trying to be like you so they can convince your person to come back. This is also what they did in the past. That's why your person went towards them. Mm. Your person makes trash ass decisions. I'm gonna be real. Trash ass decisions. I mean, I really don't want to dig into this energy. Like, how are y'all feeling? Like, I mean, how are y'all feeling? <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. I don't want to dig into the energy. Y'all like, man, then you can keep. Yeah. Are you serious? Go check that song out on my community board by I Candy Keep That Nigga. That's a banger. That song was a playing five days straight on my Pandora playlist. I said, you know what? Let me listen, listen. 
I said, if this shit don't describe my situation. <laughs> so I figured it would definitely resonate for who is going through this. Lord have mercy. Ooh, they they just settled with the karmic and now they mad. Yeah, now they, baby, baby, I don't want to be on the ass too well no more. <laughs> I was just pretending. Cause they done ran out of time, period. Now the whole love sick because whatever magic she done threw that at your way and on it, divine masculine backfire. That you know, third party hoe is sick. Cause uh, you know, your person don't want to lock it down. They don't want nothing to do with this <laughs> this karmic. Ooh, child. Yeah, you over it. You over it. You like the fuck. They're like, they trying to manifest your ass back too Is what I'm hearing you like, I rebuke thee <laughs> Stop you like, I rebuke thee I got too much evidence on the bullshit that you was doing And it is unforgivable I rebuke And don't send me back here <laughs> God and angels To go through this shit again Give me another High level soulmate twin flame This is crazy Crazy. I hear y'all saying that. Listen, I understand y'all. <laughs> ah, real quick. Spirit is saying, all right, let's just get one for what spirit want to say. Spirit, what you saying? Yeah, spirit said they shouldn't have been pretending. <laughs> what spirit got to say real quick? <coughs> y'all, spirit said they shouldn't have been pretending. They knew you was the one. They didn't want to commit. They ain't want to fold. They ain't want to submit. Well, then you get what you get. Period. That is the reading, babies. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.